So, hello guys. Yeah, so I'm Magaki Emmanuel, social developer from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm a community member of Atlassian community, Nairobi. So today I'm going to do a short introduction to getting started with the Bitbucket pipelines. So Bitbucket pipelines is, a, is an integrated say, CD for Bitbucket cloud. So why you need a Bitbucket pipeline, say, for every code you write in a team, you need to say, check if tests are passing and lanes, and maybe say you want to deploy, say, production and say, staging environment or UAT. So always this one is manual, but with Bitbucket pipelines, you can automate this process. So I'm just going to, to show you how to get started with the same with Bitbucket pipelines. So this is a new application which are a simple list here with the yes, things, checks, and also tests. So I'm going to show you how to automate the, the testing and the, the linting. So you guys will just click on the Bitbucket pipelines. And so on the reporting screen, Bitbucket itself is easy to use as been explained and it gives you free 50 minutes bills. So there are templates here to get you started quickly. So there is a, say you can see C++, you can see Go, you can see Ruby, you can see Node.js, PHP, and there's so much more you can also check going down. So I'll, I'll click on the on the node, there's a, there's a JS application. So now you come here and you see Bitbucket gives you an IDE to edit your, your pipeline. So also there are also awesome some stuff you can also add steps yeah there's also some sort of like pipes yeah you can also if you want to do a sauna scan you want to deploy to firebase to aws bitbucket itself has defined these steps for you and they're called pipes which so makes the work so easier so i'm going to edit this the first thing i want to do is to remove the parallel the parallel here defines that these steps will run parallel the build and, and test steps will run parallel and the the code linting, but just want to keep it simple. So what this what this bit, bit bucket pipelines that we mail does is that first it pulls the node image the node ten dot one five dot three, and in the pipeline set it defines a default a default pipeline, which means this default means it will run for every branch, for every commit or push or pull request or merge request for every branch, but can also define different branches. Say you can say here, yeah, say master, so that only actions to be done only on master. But for now, we just leave it default. So I just do this. And the ID is so smart that it, when the, it detects an error and it can't allow you to commit. So I just unindent this. Yeah. So in the first step, this this code is correct, but we'll just modify it to to fit our need. So for this one is npm just to npm run run test unit for just run test unit. Then uh, the code linting just do npm install npm install then npm npm run lint what we need is lint. And let's remove the dot npa npm run into npm install npm run here. So the cache here, the cache not cache defined by Bitbucket pipelines means that after the npm install, the node modules will be cached so that next time we run it, we don't have to install it again. And this is something so good with the Bitbucket pipeline. So it saves you the minutes. So there are also others defined for different languages, like the, the composer. And uh, I know for Ruby already, so for every other class, which, which are the depth dependencies that are defined, but you can also, the good thing you can also define us. So I think I'll just commit this, uh, just commit the file, just commit the file, and we, let's see how we run our first bit bucket pipeline. Yeah, so we successfully so set up the pipeline, so it's running. So as it's, as it's building the setup, so you can go and advance this and maybe after doing the, the build and the test and the code linting, maybe you want to deploy to Heroku and to deploy to your AWS servers or any other, any other VPS or want to do like say notifications 
which is so easy and even with the with the build bucket pipes i'll just show you on the, on the on the boarding screen it even makes it very easier so those are points to explore so you see the steps we find the build setup so this way it, it pulls the node image and does the cloning then uh, then it runs then it runs the npm install then 19 seconds then npm run test then it closes that that step then uh, in the code linting just in a just just see the step size the builds the build up then uh, then the npm install you realize this time is 19 seconds from the is 11 seconds from the previous 90 seconds now that the advantage of the of the caches I, I, I mentioned earlier then now the npm run lint and build there so you see we've automated our build and test and code linting so from this point it's so easy to know whether a branch is successfully ready for merging or so we just did our first deployment of the bit bucket pipelines yeah and uh, thank you and to continue building with confidence with the bucket pipelines